Yeah, so I've been songman for a number of years now. Um, I've been passed on some songs and stories in particular uh, from my law father, and his name is Paul Spiram. He's a Gomoroi uh, lawman. Uh, he was taught by his father um, and so on and so on for, for you know, for generations. And uh, the stories and songs that we learn in particular are from our Gomoroi country, uh, Galbun Gunigal area, which is around Gundawindi, along the McIntyre River. Um, also around Moree, Mihai River, also heading out towards St George. Uh, Yaman Indai, Yibai Dinawan, uh, Galbun Gunigal, Gomoroi, um, Malian, um, Wurrumbul, Darwin. Uh, my name is Yibai Dinawan, uh, the, the emu. Uh, I come from Gomoroi country, or Gamilaray country, down northern New South Wales. My English name is Buddy, everyone calls me Buddy, Buddy Hippoi, and just acknowledging uh, the country that we're on today and um, also our old people and Gunagala, the sky, Wurrumbul, um, and also Darwin, our country. So, I don't like to call it singing. We, we basically storytell um, and our voice is just that vehicle to, to share our story. So uh, we must, you know, earn our right for passage and in uh, Gamilare we call that Warawi, so Warawi is your, your small pathway um, and as you learn about that and when you, you paint up you can see three stripes here on my arm, uh, Maal Bula Guliba, one, two, three. So your Warawi is your first stage, so once you start learning about who you are and where you come from, so uh, Gamlu Birui we call that before creation, then we have Borugu which is our creation, then we have our Diria Gamal which is our law, uh, we have our Namamali which is our teachings, and then we have um, our winangay, so to understand, you got to listen uh, with your binas and your mill, and also your heart, your G, and your spirit, your your doer. So uh, once you learn about these these uh, things, you earn your right for passage to to learn these stories um, and be given that that responsibility to, to carry these stories through. And and once you understand these, we call that goo. So your goo is your belonging. So. So our, our law, our Diria Gamal, would be Diria Gamal Gu, or our Winangay becomes Winangay Gu. So once you know who you are and your role um, in, in, in your tribe, or in our tribe in particular, uh, by the old people will guide you through your Warawi, and then you'll move on to your Dumbaran, uh, which is your, your next stage, your next level. I was, I was taught uh, from my auntie, uh, Judy Knox. She's been a big mentor for me for a long period of time, ever since I was like a small small boy, or bire we say in uh, Gamilare language. Um, so once I started to understand a little bit about trauma and stuff and the trauma that we carry, um, both intergenerational and transgenerational, I sort of got guided with my law father, which is um, Paul, Se uh, Paul Spiram Senior. And he, he's from uh, Moree, so he, like I said before, he's a Gomoroi, respected Gomoroi man, um, elder, and. Like I said, he was passed on a lot of law in particular. Um, so when I say law, not white man's law, our Gamilare law and our law in particular, where we come from, our part of our country, uh, which is our Galban Gunigal area. And now we go inland to the Black Saw Plains of northern west New South Wales and southeast Queensland. Songmen Paul Spiram and Gamilare Dance Group bring you the stories from the Gamilare Nation. Please welcome Gumaroi. Braga Yelaji, dance or the Braga band. Braga Yelaji! Kara Braga Bareji Banagay. May. Kara Braga Bareji Banagay. May. 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 You like a re, you like a re, you like a re. May you like a re, you like a re, you like a re. May you like a re, you like a re, you like a re. May you like a re, you like a re, you like a re. Corroborogabridge, 
बड़ा बड़ा होगा बड़े जी बना गए महज ले जे Yo! Hey. The first story that I learnt was about the Baralga bird. And the Baralga bird is, is very, very strong and, and powerful. And our creator, Buja, he, he sent his son Dharamalan down uh, uh, to find a suitable place for our Gamilare people to live. And he, he chose a place um, out of Booba Lagoon, which is uh, just west of Bogabilla, uh, northern New South Wales, about 15 k's out to the west, and our sacred lagoon is out there. And, and this is where we believe in our tribe that um, our creation took place, uh, which is our, our Buralu or Buragu. We Gomoroi storytellers, we tell our stories through our dance, and, and this is how we carry ourselves, and we carry that and carry that law with that. That, that key one, that, that spiritual one, you know, through our G, through our G doer, um, and that sort of resonates um, and, and goes around and around. So when, when we paint up for ceremony, we'll paint a red circle on our chest, and that represents our G, our heart, and then the outer one is the white, and that represents our, our Dewey or our, our spirit. So everything we project out uh, comes from a place of love, and, it, and that circle is continuous um, through our law. Once I st started learning the, the cultural elements um, from, from where I come from, the, the power that I instilled from our old people, I carry that really strong. And when, when, we, when we doing stuff, if it's out of school or an event, or even if it's in the backyard, we'd mob or down the river with all the kids, uh, we do it meaningfully and, and we do it properly and we don't muck around with that because we, we earn our right to carry that um, when it's given to us uh, and we have to be patient but we have to be staunch and firm in, in the way that we share that because it's like a bundi, we, we'll give somebody that stick or that message stick or that spear, that billa or that bar and that boomerang. If we pass that on and it's fractured, that's going to have a negative impact on our young people and, and our families around us. So, so we need to make sure that, that we're strong within us first and we have an understanding of our gu and, and that self-love stuff. So uh, once we can move forward and start that healing process, um, and it can only happen on your own country. When we say, when we say country, it's not in another foreign country. Um, it kind of can be, but it's from tribe to tribe or clan to clan. So when, when we get up, uh, obviously we need permission from those people, uh, the, you know, the First Nation tribes, people of that area, wherever that may be, we must seek permission before we given that right to take part in that ceremony. So um, again, we, we, we don't say that we do performances around the place. Uh, we actually do a ceremony. And when we're doing that, uh, we, we do it meaningfully. So we acknowledge and pay respect to the First Nation tribe people, whoever they are on that country. We also pay respect to any of the elders that are, that are present on that day. Um, and we also pay respect to our ancestors that cared for that country for thousands of years in particular, you know, looking after the waterways and, and the land and, and our children and more importantly, our law, you know, so we, we need to sit, it, sit in those circles again and, yeah, and just, just make sure that we, we really pay respect and it's not tokenistic, it's coming from our G, it's coming from our heart, so it's got to be real. Like a lot of people sit there and plan what they have to say, just, just talk from here, that's all you got to do. Just let the whole people come to you and it'll flow the way it's meant to.